Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria 1.4 Wait, never mind, that's not a thing But welcome back to another Terraria video Today, we're gonna see which water mounts are the fastest Now, there's only two actual water mounts, I believe, in Vanilla Terraria And that is the Turtle, or Hardy Saddle, whatever And the Shrimpy Truffle, which I don't even remember What's this thing called? Cute Fish Ron And then, I was looking around a bunch of mods and like always, I may forget something, either from vanilla terraria or mods. And this is honestly all I can find. Now, there probably is mounts that can walk on water. I don't know, or mounts that just fly through water quickly. Like, this flies through water pretty quickly. But I tried to stay with the completely aquatic theme. We'll see how good that works. I don't have wings. Um, but, you know, a bunch of mounts can pass off as water mounts if you go on water and fly with them. But yeah, we'll see how long this video is. If it's short, we'll throw the Q&A at the end, or parts of the Q&A haven't recorded but yeah let's start with these two here let me make sure i turn on our speed here our uh, thermometer that's not what it's called speedometer there's a word for it i don't remember the word but yeah let's test this out here uh we have our testing grounds here which it's okay i don't i don't know what i was thinking when i created it it's okay but yeah let's go ahead let's test out the turtle mount now this thing is an underrated mount no nah, i'm kidding this thing is trash you catch it by fishing and it's super slow on land and you rarely go underwater in vanilla terraria early game especially in pre-hard mode i feel like fish runs like the only time you really fight underwater or fight near water but yeah let's see how fast it is we're just gonna give it the nice little walk down here okay just we're just gonna walk at first and see the speed like that we're getting a nice 10 miles per hour but now let's see what happens when we swim how much faster we go look at this i'm gonna try my best to keep a consistent speed here but it is a little hard you gotta get a little little mario type swimming going on but it looks like we could we could hit 38 no problem 38 is up there if i could just get just the perfect angle i feel like if you're ascending you can get some high speeds when you're ascending like we easily hit 40 right there when we're ascending but in terms of you know staying in water like this a nice little up and down motion we get a nice like 38 these numbers aren't going to be perfectly consistent but you know given the situation say i'm fighting a boss i'm not going to be ascending like I'm not gonna be fighting a boss like that underwater. I'm not gonna be fighting a boss underwater at all, to be honest. But next up, we got the cute fish rom mount here. Now, this thing, if you're touching the floor like this, this thing, this thing crawls. It crawls so slowly, even if you're underwater. But once you get off of the floor, we about to see this thing zoom. All right, we're off of the floor here. Let's see a nice straight shot. Look at that, 82. That seems to be where it caps at. I don't know if I have any accessories that affect anything, but I, if I do, you know, like I said, the numbers might not be consistent, but 82 is not bad. I wonder if you can go faster if I ascend. Let's see here. Oh yes, you can hit like a 90. That's pretty good. Maybe what I should have did, I should have flooded like a whole entire world <laughs> and see how they work like that. But it, like in a in a terraria situation you're not really gonna be in a completely flooded world unless you're doing a flooded world challenge all right so these next couple of mounts might get a little weird i think like two or three of them guaranteed they work pretty decent underwater but some of them it's a little sus so let's go ahead let's go to the bottom here and we're gonna start with this next one which is a transformation but it goes in the mount slot so we're gonna count it as a mount it's these uh transformation things from thorium very cool and as you can see it says transform you into a goldfish when transformed you're smaller and can swim freely you cannot use conventional items while well transform of course but let's see it in action boom we are a fish now if we stay on the floor damn it's kind of fast this is the fastest we've walked so far 13 miles per hour that's actually insanely fast like that animation looks creepy but yeah let's go ahead and swim now look at that how fast can we go also 13 miles per hour it seemed like we were walking a lot faster when we were just walking but swimming seems slow as hell i don't know i guess it is both 13 there you go we can go ahead and test the ascending speed see if we get any faster yeah you can get faster whoa we hit like 50 when we're out of water all right next up is the massive crab claw which this is gonna get a resprite the resprite looks very cool maybe the resprite will be in the thumbnail of this video i don't know but this is a mount when i play with thorium i use it a lot it is a very very dope mount we'll just pull up the description here hitch a ride on a gigantic crab while mounted you can walk on liquids now this thing is pretty damn fast underwater it may not have like a fast swim speed but like underwater on the floor this thing is pretty fast 41 miles but when we're swimming it's not really a swimming thing it's more just just jumping so we don't really have an ascending speed to test here but we can also test it like this because this is what it's made for is walking on liquids it's a great early game mount if you play with the thorium mod on and i would recommend to pick it up anytime you can next up from the juice mod this is a new mount from the juice mod from a recent update and it is the water board summons a rideable board that floats now this thing this thing is kind of weird i think we should test this above water first and uh just see how it works from there the boom we got it out on top of the water so it does what the crab thing does pretty much how it can easily float on top of water wow weird going fast 60 
66? I think it caps at 66, but we were zooming right there. Yeah, it looks like it caps there. Now, this thing, this thing is weird. Look at this. You see this jump? This thing can get weird. I, I don't know. Like, we're just straight up flying, but we're above water. So, let's test it underwater and see how it is. Oh, we're getting some speed. When if I just don't touch anything? We're just chilling at the bottom. We still go fast. We might hit 66. Yeah, no problem. But now, what happens if we add in jumping and stuff? Now, the jumping and flying underwater, it's a little bit harder to control. Like, it seems like there's a lot of time you gotta have the space bar held down to be able to go up and down because if i let go of space bar and then i'm holding it right now you see how long it takes for us to go back up so it seems like going up and down you know swimming with this thing doesn't work that well but it's still a very fast mount underwater if you're quick enough with the space you know you can you can kind of keep it right here in the middle going back and forth but other than that you know it's still a cool mount it's very unique especially when you get out of the water and you start doing this shit this shit is crazy all right next up we got another i don't know if this is a water mount at all i saw that it said ethereal boat for you to sail so you think it would be water it's from the beyond the forgotten ages mod a great mod a very underrated mod now this thing looks cool but the question is does it ride fast does it go fast we're about to see look at this thing we got my boy what's his name charon karen do something like that but let's see him bring us across so he's not even touching the water i'm pretty sure this is just a flying mount like look at this you can just fly with this <laughs> but you know it's a boat so you think it'd be good underwater so we go underwater look how fast he's starting to he's starting to row the boat he's getting scared especially when you go down look how fast he starts rowing he's like oh fuck we sinking but uh this thing is uh it's a little slow i'm trying i'm trying to trying to hold down space see if we can get some speed it's not going that fast i think this is just straight up cool looking just regular flying mount but it, it had boat in it so you know i had to put it to the test all right the last one we have on our list here that i know of from mods that i know uh, there was actually a mount from the spirit mod that i thought was a water mount but it wasn't i don't remember what it was i'll pop it up on the screen i thought it was a water mount i'm pretty sure it's just a regular mount when i tested it but yeah let's let's go into this last mount here how to speak whale a biography summons a mountable whale boom bada bing y'all know the whale or is it the orca from uh the console versions of terraria or ds versions whatever phone versions whatever version is on we got the whale slash orca and uh let's 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 see it in action here this thing is pretty fast look at that. nice 39 can we hit 40 i guess not but this thing has a nice range of motion very fluid underwater much like the uh cute fish on mount i think you can actually get this before the cute fish on mount so it might be good until you get the fish on mount and this thing is amazing what about if it's just on the floor if it's on the floor there's just just no animation <laughs> but it's still pretty quick and what about ascending ascending you can, you can get like 44 oh but when you when you breach the surface god damn like i can't even go back up it got tired from breaching the surface look at that I'm, I'm pressing up and pressing space nothing's happening but this thing is awesome i love that it's i believe it's a reference or it drops from the whale enemy from thorium because i think thorium adds in a whale enemy and this is where it drops from but uh this thing is just cool i just like it a lot but yeah other than that i think honestly that's it in terms of water mounts you don't really do a lot in water in terraria so it's understandable why there isn't a lot of mounts but you can grab like any mount and call it a water mount i don't know if it moves fast underwater like this thing moves kind of fast underwater water but yeah maybe in the future hopefully they add in more unique water mounts whether it's 1.4 or just mods in general two of the biggest terrarium mods have gigantic water-based biomes you know the aquatic depths from thorium and the abyss from calamity like those are giant areas to explore but there's no mounts or anything for them well i guess thorium does have its mounts but like calamity i'm surprised didn't have anything i was thinking like calamity would have like a submarine or something instead it has this thing <laughs> which i guess this thing moves pretty fast underwater but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video whether it's short or not we'll see if it is short i'll throw in q a questions my bad if i'm slowing down on content you know i kind of ran my idea well dry that happens every once in a while but i got some more ideas starting to flood in and uh, you know we might start doing some multiplayer videos i'm not talking no terraria playthrough with fans i'm talking about multiplayer stuff i have some ideas me and the boys we're gonna connect and we're gonna we're gonna make some dope videos and uh we'll see what happens stay safe wash your hands stay inside don't don't die. <laughs> All right, so let's just knock some questions off the Q&A here. What's your dog's name? I don't have a dog. What's your favorite game outside of Terraria on Minecraft? My favorite game franchise of all time is the Fallout series. Has there been a game or series that you wanted to do for your channel but feel like it didn't fit in with the content you were making? I would love to just record me playing games or stream me playing games, but it wouldn't get any views. Putting any effort into content like that wouldn't get any views, so I don't plan on doing anything anytime soon. Maybe we'll see a one-off video here and there if I really want to play a game or something but until then
then i don't know you funny af on twitch when you make a youtube channel never what's your favorite thing to do and non-digital game to play that doesn't involve playing video games what kind of question is that my favorite thing to do when i'm not playing video games i don't know think about playing video games and then non-digital game to play board games with the bros will you ever play rust no most interesting thing a stranger has told you damn bro you got a long dick <laughs>